Hallmarks of Babylonian culture include mud brick architecture, extensive astronomical records and logs, diagnostic medical handbooks, and translations of Sumerian literature. Art and Architecture In Babylonia, an abundance of clay and lack of stone led to greater use of mud brick. Babylonian temples were thus massive structures of crude brick, supported by buttresses. The use of brick led to the early development of the pilaster and column, and of frescoes and enameled tiles. The walls were brilliantly colored, and sometimes plated with zinc or gold, as well as with tiles. Painted terracotta cones for torches were also embedded in the plaster. In Babylonia, in place of the bas-relief, there was a preponderance of three-dimensional figures the earliest examples being the statues of Gudia that were realistic, if also somewhat clumsy. The paucity of stone in Babylonia made every pebble a commodity and led to a high perfection in the art of gem cutting. Astronomy During the 8th and 7th centuries BCE, Babylonian astronomers developed a new empirical approach to astronomy. They began studying philosophy dealing with the ideal nature of the universe and began employing an internal logic within their predictive planetary systems. This was an important contribution to astronomy and the philosophy of science, and some scholars have thus referred to this new approach as the first scientific revolution. Tablets dating back to the old Babylonian period document the application of mathematics to variations in the length of daylight over a solar year. Centuries of Babylonian observations of celestial phenomena are recorded in a series of cuneiform tablets known as the Enuma Anu Enlil. In fact, the oldest significant astronomical text known to mankind is Tablet 63 of the Enuma Anu Enlil, the Venus Tablet of M. Isagica, which lists the first and last visible risings of Venus over a period of about 21 years. This record is the earliest evidence that planets were recognized as periodic phenomena. The oldest rectangular astrolabe dates back to Babylonia c. 1100 BCE. The MUL.APIN contains catalogs of stars and constellations as well as schemes for predicting heliacal risings and the settings of the planets, as well as lengths of daylight measured by a water clock, gnomon, shadows, and intercalations. The Babylonian Gu text arranges stars in strings that lie along declination circles, thus measuring right ascensions or time intervals, and also employs the stars of the zenith, which are also separated by given right ascensional differences. Medicine The oldest Babylonian texts on medicine date back to the first Babylonian dynasty in the first half of the second millennium BCE. The most extensive Babylonian medical text, however, is the diagnostic handbook written by the Umanu, or chief scholar, Isagil Kinapli of Borsippa. The Babylonians introduced the concepts of diagnosis, prognosis, physical examination, and prescriptions. The diagnostic handbook additionally introduced the methods of therapy and etiology outlining the use of empiricism, logic, and rationality in diagnosis, prognosis and treatment. For example, the text contains a list of medical symptoms and often detailed empirical observations along with logical rules used in combining observed symptoms on the body of a patient with its diagnosis and prognosis. In particular, Isagil Kinapli discovered a variety of illnesses and diseases and described their symptoms in his diagnostic handbook, including those of many varieties of epilepsy and related ailments. Literature Libraries existed in most towns and temples. Women as well as men learned to read and write, and had knowledge of the extinct Sumerian language, along with a complicated and extensive syllabary. A considerable amount of Babylonian literature was translated from Sumerian originals, and the language of religion and law long continued to be written in the old agglutinative language of Sumer. Vocabularies, grammars, and interlinear translations were compiled for the use of students, as well as commentaries on the older texts and explanations of obscure words and phrases. The characters of the syllabary were organized and named, and elaborate lists of them were drawn up. There are many Babylonian literary works whose titles have come down to us. One of the most famous of these was the Epic of Gilgamesh, in twelve books, translated from the original Sumerian by a certain Sinliki Yunani, and arranged upon an astronomical principle. 
each division contains the story of a single adventure in the career of King Gilgamesh. The whole story is a composite product, and it is probable that some of the stories are artificially attached to the central figure. Philosophy The origins of Babylonian philosophy can be traced back to early Mesopotamian wisdom literature, which embodied certain philosophies of life, particularly ethics, in the forms of dialectic, dialogues, epic poetry, folklore, hymns, lyrics, prose, and proverbs. Babylonian reasoning and rationality developed beyond empirical observation. It is possible that Babylonian philosophy had an influence on Greek philosophy, particularly Hellenistic philosophy. The Babylonian text Dialogue of Pessimism contains similarities to the agonistic thought of the Sophists, the Heraclitan doctrine of contrasts, and the Dialogues of Plato, as well as a precursor to the Maeutic Socratic method of Socrates. Neo-Babylonian Culture The resurgence of Babylonian culture in the 7th and 6th century BCE resulted in a number of developments. In astronomy, a new approach was developed, based on the philosophy of the ideal nature of the early universe, and an internal logic within their predictive planetary systems. Some scholars have called this the first scientific revolution, and it was later adopted by Greek astronomers. The Babylonian astronomer Seleucus of Seleucia, B190 BCE, supported a heliocentric model of planetary motion. In mathematics, the Babylonians devised the base 60 numeral system, determined the square root of two correctly to seven places, and demonstrated knowledge of the Pythagorean theorem before Pythagoras. Thank you for listening, don't forget to check out other tracks as well. Show your love by hitting the subscribe button and do like, comment and share, to spread knowledge. See you next time, till then keep learning for fun.